In Photoshop, how to create a step design like this, PC or Mac. This is for Photoshop 2024, but also for earlier as well. What you need to do, create a document. I'm going for 1920 by 1080. Go to the Layers panel, and then go down here to the Plus and create a new layer. Now I'm going to fill this layer with a selection and a gradient. So I'll just go over here and Rectangle Marquee Tool. I'm going to set the feather to 50. That's the key thing, just set that. So you've got a selection there. You can see it creates a bit of a nice round selection there. But what you can now do is you can go over here to the Gradient Tool, and I'm using the Classic Gradient, and I'm just applying just a very basic, colorful, maybe like a rainbow gradient, something with a lot of color. With that, simply apply it linear, and you can apply it any direction, maybe like that, or cross, up to you. So with this design, I can now define that as a pattern. Unfortunately, you can't use feathered patterns, which is a pity, but you can't do that. So what you need to do is go to select and deselect. And now I'm just gonna deselect that. So I've got that, I can see I've got transparency there, the background, and I'm just going to go over here, gain rectangular marquee tool, but instead of feather 50, put it back to zero. And then make certain you go like that. Just go with a rectangle over that rectangular selection. Now you can apply other effects as well to it, and that's always creates some interesting designs. So say select, deselect, you want a sort of like a wavy design to it. Well, you can go to filter, and you can go down here to distort, and you've got a number of ones. So you could go for ripple, all these sort of things, pinch. But I was like, wave. So wave, in wave, I go with one, and then you can set the wavelength and amplitude. Of course, you can set it to virtually anything. You can change these values, and you will create all kinds of different unique designs. I want something like that, where the amplitude is fairly low, but it does create a sort of like wavy design, and also the wavelength, again, fairly low. But one for number of generators. And sign, wrap around and click OK. Now create the selection. So rectangle marquee, gain, make certain it's zero. And just drag over this. Try and avoid cutting through this. So you may want to make it just slightly bigger. So it makes certain you doesn't cut through that, you can of course, that gradient, but you will notice that in your pattern design. So with this selected, I can now go to edit, and I can define its pattern. You can also at the same time, or near enough same time, go to brush preset as well. You could save it as a brush, but I go with define pattern. So click that, give it a name, maybe gradient one or something, then click okay. Now, of course, I can just create a new layer and fill that, but I'm also just gonna fill this one. So it's just as easy because the pattern effect will apply over the entire image and you won't see this. So this one, layer, go to edit and fill. In edit and fill, you can now go down here, to make sure it's pattern, then go to custom pattern and select that pattern. Now, of course, as you can see from the examples there, you can make different sort of gradient designs, different transparency. Whole range of potential designs can be created by just varying it, maybe making it even you know, more transparent. But I'm selecting this now, and you can see it's 602 by 963. Of course, it will vary for you. And go for the script and symmetry fill. Just go with that one, and then click OK. It's a two-passer, unfortunately. It's always a pity, but that's the way it works. And you can see now, if I go for seven, seven, I think, is the best one. And you can vary this. So if you want, you can go here, set it to 25. Now, you can see the color, and obviously there's the design, but obviously it doesn't match that at all. If I set this all back down to zero, you get that. Well, you can see what's happening. It's getting that green there and it's the yellow. All the rest is sort of like tucked behind each of those sort of cells. And you can vary it. So if you want, go for it and you can see as you change it, you get more or less of that design. You can see now I've got more than like, there you've got the greens, yellows, reds, etc. And then you can click OK. And then you've got that design. And you can see now, 
you got transparency coming through because obviously I had that pattern design. It did have some transparency that had some around the edge. And so you can see through that and you can use that to great effect. So we just go down here to effects and just click there. Now you can push it too far, it doesn't look great. But if you go to Bevan Boss, and you can see it does obviously create the edge there. But also, if you change that, change the size, you can see you can create a variety of different effects. You've got that raise now. You can create sort of a very unusual. Now, click OK. You'll notice you've got this edge. It's one of those features, unfortunately, that it creates. You can always go to layer and flatten and one off. Yes. What I can do is then I can go here and maybe use the crop tool. So you just crop it. So crop it and then you've got rid of that ugly edge to that design. So if you can do, go back again, let's go back, just back to this. Of course, what you can also do, you notice here I've got 100%. Well, I can always just go here and I can say, oh, you know what? I don't want that faded effect. So I can put it down to 62% or something, 50% up to you and also you can always go here to effects if you want you can add bevel and boss and you can create some interesting designs there just by doing that just by adding sort of like a gives you like a three-dimensional depth to it straight away so let's just create the depth let's go with that so click ok and with that don't want the crop tool obviously i want the selection again so gain selection that's the rectangular marquee tool Feather, still zero, makes sense that's zero, and then select this area. Now, it's a bit harder to determine exactly where the edges are, so I think that looks okay. Once you've done that, you can go, again, edit and define pattern. So it defines it, click OK, and then select and deselect. Now, this time, because it's got the emboss already, if you apply an effect, obviously, it's going to have that automatically. You may or may not want that, so let's just create another layer. So create a layer, and this is going to be the layer for the fill. I can then go to edit, and down here, fill, and then go to here. Pattern, make certain it's pattern again. Make certain you've got the pattern you just created, which is this one. There it is. And now script. So script, symmetry fill, and then click OK. And you can see then you've got that raised design in there. And again, you can modify this. You can go here, change this, just change, just subtle change to get the colors you want. So you might want to do that. And also, of course, you can always bring color randomness back in again, simply by increasing this, as well as brightness if you want to. Though I'm not always happy with the result from that, but let's just put it to about middle there. Then you can also, if you want, you change the pattern scale. All that does will create the design, it'll make it smaller. Unfortunately, it only goes up to 1.25. Wish they'd made it so we could go up to two or three or ten, but unfortunately that's as far as it goes, 1.25. And then you can modify this again, just change that, and you get the design you want. Now, unfortunately, there's no randomization option here. That would be nice, but there isn't. So click OK. And then you can see now you've got that design. And again, you see it's got some depth, it's got some transparency there, but also you can again go over here and down to effects, click that, and Bevel Boss, and you can see then you get again this lovely sort of depth to design. And you can change the angle. If you change that, you can see you can results in a whole range of different designs simply by just changing the angle there. Or maybe go for a different gloss. And you can see as you change that, you'll get different results from that. Maybe something like that, sort of light, sort of intense lighting effect. Very unusual sort of web design with this sort of tangle of lights coming out and then click OK. Again, you've got this edge, which you, of course, can, if you want, crop it away. Maybe just make the document a little bit bigger if you want a particular size, obviously, and then just crop it back down to the actual size you really want. And of course, once you've done that, you can go to Layer, and again, you can flatten your image, and you've got that, yes, click that. So that's a quick way of creating some really interesting designs for a very basic sort of like gradient and selection inside Photoshop, PC or Mac. Hope you found this of interest. Please check out my next video on how to use Photoshop.